Hi and welcome to my channel A Yogi's Tale. My name is Vaibhavi and in today's video I will be taking you through a very gentle yoga practice for de-stressing and relaxing your mind. So just remember to have a safe practice, uh, trust the process and let's bring our mats out and begin. So let's go ahead and take a comfortable seated posture. You can sit in Sukhasan or Ardh Padmasan or Padmasan or Vajrasana. Uh, your palms in Gyan Mudra on your knees, rolling the shoulders back and lengthening out of the spine. Finding your back growing taller, closing off your eyes and spending just a moment here to breathe in. Deep into the body, inhaling through the nose, all the way into your chest and abdomen. And then exhaling completely. Breathing in once again and then exhaling with an Om Chant and three Shanti. Inhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Slowly flushing your eyes open. Coming back, placing your palms on your knees, rolling the shoulders back. Taking four neck rolls from the right to left and four from the left to right. Inhaling in center. Exhale and dropping the head down. Inhale, taking the head up from the right, bringing it down from the left as you exhale. Inhale, keep going. Four from the right, four from the left. Inhale, going up from the right side and exhaling, coming down from the left. Inhaling from the right, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, coming down. Inhale, changing the direction, going up from the left, exhaling from the right. Inhaling from the left, exhale from the right. Inhale. Going up, last two, and last one, inhale, take it up from the side and bring it down from the left, inhale, come back to center, lift the arms up, shoulder level, and reach down to the right side and gently stretch out the left side of the body, finding a nice length in the side of the body, the left side, inhale, come back to center, Exhaling and dropping on to the left, taking the right hand over the head, stretching the right side out. Inhale back to center once again, dropping to the right and stretching the left side. Inhale back to center, exhaling on to the left. Inhale back to center and then just walking your hands out into a forward fold. Keeping your head down, eyes closed and breathing here. Two breaths. Inhale, surrendering into the floor. And exhale. Inhale, allowing your body to go down. Not forcing, not holding, just breathing into the posture. And slowly inhale, walking back, coming all the way up. Extending the legs out and then bringing them around from the side, coming in to all fours position, coming into cat and cow just to find the back uh, moving a little bit, keeping the palms under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. We're gonna find length in the back, keeping the head the spine and tailbone in the same line and engaging the core and from here pushing the hips out chest down looking in front as you inhale 
and contract, curling up the spine, tucking the hips and looking down at the knee. Inhale and arch the spine slowly, vertebra by vertebra, arching the back. And then exhale, contract, pull the chest up towards the ceiling, stomach in, contract. And inhale once again, lifting the head up, pushing the chest down, shoulders away from the ears, arching the back. And exhale. Contracting, pulling the stomach up to the chest. Belly is stuck. Look down at your navel. Last one. Inhaling, going through the movement, nice and gentle. And then exhale, contract completely. Inhale, coming back into a tabletop, straight back, neutral spine. And from here, we're going to tuck the toes was already tucked. We're gonna take the knees off the floor, take the hips up to the ceiling, come into your downward facing dog and just holding the downward dog, breathing here, few breaths, keeping a nice and long back and if you want bending one knee at a time, walking out your downward dog, finding a little movement or if you'd like if you prefer stillness just holding the downward dog and allow your body to come into a nice forward fold without forcing it without restricting anything just allowing the body to take the lead and you follow along with and then bringing both the heels down, we're going to walk the feet towards the hands, coming in to a hanging position, just dropping the body down all the way if you would want. You can keep your hands down on the mat or if you prefer, you can also hold your opposite elbows and just close off your eyes and hang down in a modified forward fold. Or Padhastasan, just hanging down wherever you are, whether you're a bit slow or not, just letting your body hang into the posture, surrendering into it, not thinking, not worrying about anything else, just allow your mind to relax in this posture, your body breathing deep and slow and then slowly we're gonna inhale drop the hands down and roll up one vertebra up head coming up last and come all the way up into a standing posture we're going to turn this way and we're going to do a tadasan keeping your feet under the hips feet grounded into the floor pelvis tucked Stomach engage, rolling the shoulders back. We're gonna inhale, lift the arms up in front of the shoulders, interlock the fingers and flip the palms out. And inhale to lift the arms over the head, finding a nice spot for you to look at um, and focus your gaze on. And then inhale, slowly lifting your heels off the floor, coming onto your tiptoes and staying focused at one point, finding a balance. Holding the posture, Tarasana for two breaths, inhaling, lifting up, lengthening out of the spine, shoulders still push down away from the ears, exhaling. And one more breath, find your balance, inhale. And exhale, slowly bring the heels down, release the arms. And once again, staying there, we're going to come into our forward fold from here bring the arms all the way down let your body hang padhastasan whether you want to place your hands by the side of the feet hold your toes or just let the hand hands hang loose stay there and breathe this practice is all about finding your mind in a, in a relaxed state so allowing 
the body and the breath to take charge and just surrender into each posture and slowly drop the hands back on the mat and take the feet back into once again your downward facing dog holding the downward dog just for two breaths inhale and roll the shoulders away from the ears pull the stomach in push the heels down and exhale inhaling once again and exhale drop the knees down untuck the toes take the hips back into the heels to come into child's pose just dropping the head down on the mat coming in to relax in child's pose breathing into the posture just allow your body to surrender into the floor inhaling deep into the body and exhale completely inhale nice and long through the nose all the way into your abdomen and exhale completely inhale one last time all the way exhale stay there slowly finding yourself coming all the way up walking the hands in coming into um, seated posture on your hips extending the legs out and we're going to slowly find ourselves lying down all the way on our back so slowly dropping your body down all the way on the mat and bring the feet in towards the hips keeping your knees your hips and feet in the same line parallel your palms will come down on the mat coming into Setubandh Asan, rolling the shoulders and pushing the back into the floor, pressing the feet into the floor as you push the pelvis up, come into a nice bridge pose. Pushing the hips up towards the ceiling, pressing the palms into the floor or interlocking the hands behind the back and pushing the chest towards the face, pelvis towards the ceiling. Stay there, keeping the feet flat on the floor. Holding there, one breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Holding there. Inhale, one last time. Exhale, slowly release the palms drop the hips down all the way coming back and then coming in to Pavanmukh Asan hugging the knees into the chest pulling them in all the way and closing off the eyes if you'd like we're gonna inhale exhale bring the chin to the to touch the knees holding there close off the eyes and then inhale, take it back. And then bring the legs back down, extending them out in front, coming into Matsyasan. Keeping the palms under the shoulders, we're going to lift, get the head out of the way. Lift the head, arch the spine, tuck the head in and come into Matsyasan. Bring the elbows on the floor, palms on your uh, the bones close off the eyes and hold here and allow once again your body to be guided by your breath breathing into the abdomen breathing out of the nose closing of the eyes and holding here Trying to keep a clear mind and just holding, focusing on longer, deeper breaths. One more breath, inhale. 
placing the palms back under the shoulders, picking the head up and coming all the way down. Last posture, we're just gonna come into legs up the wall or Vibrit Karniyasan. So if you have a wall around, you can just, not a wall, but if you have a wall around, you can just slide yourself close to the wall and get your legs up and rest them on the wall. Keep your hands by the side and just hold here. Yes, imagining there's a wall behind, just holding. If you don't have a wall like me, you can also come into Vipreet Karni Asan with your uh, legs, taking the legs up all the way, pushing the hips off the floor, palms supporting the hips, and then lift the pelvis and bring the feet in line with the eyes. So making an angle at the hips and holding the posture. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Holding the weight. Last one. Inhaling. And exhaling slowly dropping the knees hips everything down extending all the way into Shavasana and finding yourself lying down flat on your back palms facing the ceiling feet dropping to the side we're gonna close off our eyes focus our mind on our body and breath Allowing the body to relax into the floor, allowing it to surrender completely into the floor, releasing all the tension in the body. Make sure you're not holding any tightness in any part of the body. Relaxing with your eyes closed and then drawing long and deep breath in. One inhalation, exhale completely. Inhaling once again, exhale completely. And now coming into Makar chant, making a humming sound as you exhale, inhale. Once again, inhale, bring your lips together and hum as you exhale. Three more times, inhaling. Last one, inhale. And then relax in your breath. Start moving your fingers and toes. Roll over to the left side, making a pillow with the left hand. And then we're going to find ourselves pushing away from the floor, using our right hand, coming back into our seated posture. Sukhasan, Arth Padmasan, keeping your eyes closed, back long, palms in Gyan Mudra. 
breathing in and breathing out completely breathing in once again breathing out breathing in and chanting om as you exhale followed by three shanti Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bringing your palms in a prayer position. As a sign of gratitude for this time taken out to work on your mind, to work on your body. And sending out good energies, saying a prayer to yourself, rubbing the palms together, placing them on your eyes and face and slowly Flutter your eyes open and come back, looking down at the palms. And thank you so much once again for joining me. I hope you're feeling a little more at ease, a little more at peace and you're feeling good and refreshed. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, please do leave in the comments whatever you think about the video if you'd like to see more such videos whatever you'd like uh to see on my channel and uh thank you so much once again uh stay safe and keep practicing